Hi, I'm Chase Garbarino. And I'm Greg Gomer, and this is the Boston OB. As you can tell, the dream team is back in studio. Chase is back from his lovely honeymoon overseas, and uh, he's wearing some fancy jewelry. Who are you wearing? Yeah, got, uh, got the new hardware here. Um, and I know what you're all thinking, praise be, he's back. I know, I know, it was tough. Uh, but don't worry, I don't have any weddings planned anytime soon. And uh, as, as much as, you know, the team is back together, I've been notified uh, by the wife that there are gonna be some changes. Right. So uh, no, more, no more beer for this guy. Cheers, man. During, during the day. Tea party. We done with the intro? You done with the intro? Yeah, we're gonna cut to the next section. Nice, yeah, Phil, it topped that off. Well, obviously we're having some problem, and sometimes happens with live television. Let's talk about Robocop. Oh, hell no. <laughs> we'll do it live. F it. The big one this week, we're gonna talk a little bit about the red hot IPO market. Renaissance Capital put together a nifty little chart that shows IPO volume by year, and in 2014, more than 66 billion has been raised in initial public offerings, which is a 10 year record. That's huge. That is huge. And Boston has been a part of 17 IPOs, including Care.com, Improvata, uh, a number of Boston companies. So Boston's hot right now, um, more biotech than tech. Yep. It's all underneath the umbrella of our innovation economy, yep. which is great. And Couple we've got a bunch more coming, yep. Wayfair, uh, HubSpot is filed, yep. Actifio will go next year, yep. Acquia is set to be in that class most likely next yep. year. So all things on the up and up for Boston. Hot right now. Making moves this week, huge moves this week. San Francisco, Silicon Valley, darling startup Klinkle has finally launched. <laughs> the company has been around for two years raised 30 million in capital, has laid off most of the staff, has had massive product delays, but it's back, baby. They've launched. Is it good? No, it's basically a, a debit card with an iPhone app that lets you share money. I could send you money back and forth, which we can already do and have already done multiple times. So it's a little odd. Yeah, anytime I hear a name like Clinkle, and then something targeting college students and gamification, my brain kind of immediately shuts down. So um, this is a joke, right? Yeah, at this rate, we should expect a 350 million Series A round from the top Silicon Valley investors in about a month or so. 17 IPOs in Boston, Clinkle out west. Clinkle. Boom. Hot off the gas train this week, we're hearing rumors uh, that Apple's in town and that they're sniffing around uh, a startup out of Bolt. The startup's in the wearable space. It's called Pavlock, and uh, rumor has it they've been in potential acquisition talks uh, for a little, a little while now. Yeah, uh, the idea, I guess, and I'm, I'm hearing this secondhand, is that uh, you get a little bit of a shock. Is that it? You're a quack! <laughs> maybe to break bad habits or mm -hmm. something like that. Yep. I love it. Pavlov's dog, love it. Nice, I don't get it. <laughs> Famous study. In the community this week, we have a amazing event coming up on Saturday. It's called Boss Fit. Uh, it's taken place at uh, the club by George Foreman. You've been there a few times. Yeah. Uh, and the idea of the event, you show up, uh, you'll be able to try out uh, four or so classes, uh, runs from about nine to noon. Great atmosphere, good time, getting sweaty. Startup fitness competition. George Foreman's The Club is sick, so I recommend you come and check it out. See you Saturday. I, I'm really happy for you, I'm gonna let you finish. Unwanted feedback. Uh, I sent in a bunch the last two weeks. I must have got lost overseas. Yeah. The uh, emails must have gotten lost heading across Back. the pond. Yeah. Um, the usage of neat in the beat went up. <laughs> I thought it was a great two weeks. Neat in the beat went up tenfold uh, with my neat, absence. Neat in the beat, new show. I found myself nodding off several times while reading it. Strongest two weeks I think it beat history, uh, to be honest. And uh, also a lot of, uh, lot of complaints about your golf score at uh, the terrible scramble. The yeah. terrible. I don't think everybody else is playing a scramble. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. Mm -hmm. There were some people over par. It's like, how are you going to bogey and double bogey when you're playing a scramble, you know? 
The only thing I, I will say, I definitely cheated. I brought in two ringers, single digit handicaps. Yeah. Call that cheating, I call that winning. Sorry about it. We're actually amateurs. They're not even really in they're the tech scene. They're so. assistant pros. They're, they're making their run at the PGA, so. Sorry for winning. Don't worry, I'm back. Girl, you just don't realize what you do to me. One more bit of news this week. Huge, huge, mind-blowing, groundbreaking news this week. Apparently, my man Biebs, Justin Bieber, to those who don't know him, and David Hasselhoff, the Hoff, are filming a music video. This is incredible. I can't wait. Christmas come early. What do you say? Uh, <laughs> glad to know some things haven't changed in my absence, I guess. Thanks for coming out. I don't know. Who cares? So you guys really just like let him get rusty while I'm gone, huh? <laughs> this show sucks. <laughs> hey!